Geometry, Chapter 3, Section 7, Part 2. Continuing with equations of lines in the coordinate plane. Okay, the other day we talked about uh, equations. We talked about slope-intercept form, and we talked about point-slope form. Now, they're going to change it on us a little bit, and then they're going to give us uh, a slope and a y-intercept and say, what is the equation of a line with a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 5? Well, if you remember, we learned y equals mx plus b, where m was our slope and b was our y-intercept. So if they gave us a slope of 3, that means our m is 3, and a y-intercept is negative 5. Our b is negative 5. So we would just plug it in. y equals, instead of m, we'd use 3. x plus, instead of uh, b, we'd type, put in negative 5. So the first one would just be y equals 3x plus negative 5. Or you could rewrite it, y equals 3x minus 5. The next example is, what is the equation of a line through a point and a slope? Well, we're given a point and a slope. Well, if you remember, we were given an equation called point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where x1 and y1 were points on the line and m was the slope. So x1 in this case is negative 1, y1 in this case is 5, and our slope is 2. So now we're just going to plug these variables in. So it's going to be y minus 5, equals our m is 2, x minus negative 1. So there's our answer. Remember, if you got two negatives side by side, it's going to end up being a positive. Okay, next slide. What is an equation of a line with the slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of 2? So we're given a slope of negative 1 half and a y-intercept of 2. So we can just plug in y equals mx plus b. We can use our slope-intercept form. Now we just plug in values. y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Okay, question B. What is an equation that goes through the line negative 1 comma 4 and a slope of negative 3? Well, that can be our x1 and y1 values. That's a point that goes through the line and a slope of 3. So we can use our slope in our, yeah, our, our point slope form. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So y minus our y1 value is 4 equals our slope is negative 3. We got x minus negative 1. So x minus negative 1. So we get y minus 4 equals negative 3 times x plus 1. Again, if we're given a, the y-intercept and the slope, use a slope-intercept form. If we're given a point and a slope, use point-slope form. Make sure you memorize the point-slope form and the uh, slope-intercept form. So... Postulate 1.1 states that through any two points, there's exactly one line. So you only need two points to write the equation of a line. So what is the equation of the line at the right? Okay, so what are we given? We're given two points. So let's write this down. So point 1 is 3 comma 5, and point 2 is negative 2 comma negative 1. So we can use the slope. Our slope is just our change of y's, y2 minus y1 over x2 over x1. So remember, our x comma y in our ordered pair, so y2 is negative 1 minus 5, it's our y1 value, over our x2 value is negative 2 minus our x1 value is 3. So my slope is going to be negative 1 minus 5 would be negative 6 over negative 2 minus 3, which would be negative 5. So my slope is negative 6 over negative 5, which is just 6 over 5. So I have a positive slope. My point is 3 comma 5. So I have a point and a slope. So I can say y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So let's just plug it in. y minus, what's our y1 value? 5. So y minus 5 equals 
what's our slope? 6 over 5, so 6 over 5. x minus our x1 value is 3. There's our equation. Okay? So, my steps are pretty simple. Step 1, find the slope. Step 2, use the point slope form. And then step 3 is just plug it in. And you're going to get y minus 5 equals 6 over 5 times x minus 3, which is exactly what we got. Okay, next example. You know that the slope of a horizontal line that goes left and right is 0, and the slope of a vertical line is undefined. Thus, horizontal and vertical lines have easily recognizable equations. So, what are the equations for the horizontal and vertical lines through 2 comma 4? All right, all we have to do is set our x and y is equal to whatever they are on their axis. So, our y-axis, every point on the horizontal line has a y-coordinate of force. So, therefore, our y uh, slope or our horizontal line is just going to be y equals 4. Every point on the vertical line through 2 comma 4 has an x-coordinate value of 2. Therefore, the equation for the x is x equals 2. So you just set the x equal to the x value and y equal to the y value to get your horizontal and vertical lines. Pretty straightforward. All right, what are the equations for a horizontal and vertical line through 4, negative 3? Well, x equals 4 and y equals negative 3. Again, you just set your x value equal to your x value and y equal to your y value. Can you write the equation of a vertical line in slope-intercept form? The answer would be no, because the slope is undefined in a vertical line. Okay? Make sure you understand these two forms. Make sure you understand slope-intercept. Make sure you understand point, slope form, and you're able to do the work. Okay? Check back soon for the next lesson.